Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Soulstorm cast aside of East Yorkshire, and today we have a 1v1 on Blood River. Over in the Eldar corner we have Zlo, and over in the Imperial Guard corner we have The Hunter. Now, I won't make the announcement right away, but if you want to stick around at the end of this game, because I've got quite a cool, interesting announcement to make. But anyway, on with the game. Uh, we have got a Aspect Portal and a Plasma Generator for the Eldar player, capturing his nearest and dearest. Same going for the Imperial Guard player, going for his barracks and his plasma generator. Uh, going for double guardsmen, whereas the Eldar player is going for double guardians. And he's also... Ah, he's going to go for rangers and a infiltration research, which is going to be ideal against these very light, highly fragile guardsmen. Especially for their low morale so early in the game. Guardsman play is going to go for Command Squad as well. Success. How can we so that's all exciting. Listing Shrine going down on the nearest and dearest. Tech Priest Engines here. Putting down a heavy bolt turret around this relic. So the Guardsman player is going to be focusing primarily on capturing and holding the top half of the map. We have got a Commander Squad. Going right down the middle, probably going to do some early harassment. Ranger also having the same idea, going to meet him round the middle. Going to open a salvo against this commander squad. He is going for a priest and a psyker. So aiming for that long-term, busybodying harassment nonsense. Guardians are going to ignore them for, for now. And now that the ranger are invisible, the commander squad is going to focus on something else. Probably won't be able to see him until the psyker comes down. So we'll just ignore them. The Guardian squads are going to run away. This Burn Singer is getting slapped a little bit. And will be teleporting away. I don't know where he's teleported to. But somewhere safe, no doubt. Guardians are going to fire some of their shuriken, cannon, catapult, whatever you call them, at the command squad. They're not going to be all that bothered too much there. Got to bear in mind that this negative cover in the river might do some, some extra damage to anyone standing in the middle of it. Imperial Guard coming round to take both relics, that's what they're called. Commander Squad going low on morale from the firing of the Rangers. Obviously the Rangers need to stand still for a little while before they're able to fire. So this Command Squad constantly going after them is preventing them from being any kind of useful. Although this Guardian Squad over here going up to 8 will, will on auto reinforce at the moment. So we're probably going to get full 9 squad of Guardians there. This Psyker fairly low on health. We have a Farseer coming out as well. Going to join in the slapping down of these Commander peoples. Psyker just on the verge of death and he does fall and die. So does the Commander himself, leaving a lowly Priest out on their own. And it looks like that the Priest is probably going to go down. Going to try and hide in the corner here to uh, just distract him as much as they can. Bearing in mind that while the Eldar player is focusing a lot on this Priest, the Imperial Guard player is capturing most of the map, and the Priest, by the skin of his teeth, by the by the width of a cat's whisker, he manages to escape, which is quite a good get, considering that he won't need to spend all the requisition points on building a whole new commander squad, although that does leave this relic alone and vulnerable for a Guardian to take it down. What's going on on the base is we've got double generator for the Imperial Guard player. A listening post going down on the relic and the Guardsman squads are taking on the far side critical location. We have got a Dark Reaper stern in the aspect part. I saw it in this little window down here. Got a second plasma generator going down and the commander squad is back in. But we do have a Ranger Squad also pushing in at the same time. Probably going to instantly wreck this Tech Priest engines here. Listing Post does have a shooty bits upgrade, but with the Guardian, well, not Guardians, the Rangers being invisible, not going to do all that much. Two Burn Singers have gone down to the uh, five men in the Guardsman Squad and the uh, Commander Squad. This Burn Singer is going to attempt to, to repair this plasma generator, but it will be shot down by the Guardsmen. Farseer is going to come in, make a big explodey bit. Going to almost kill the entire squad. Look how low health they are. Uh, Listing Shrine getting some shooty bits down. 
So this Imperial Guard squad is in a very tenuous situation. We've got another shooty bits on this listening shrine over here. Rangers are trying to prevent this plasma generator from being built. Probably going to just kill all the engine tech priest scenery my bobs as they go. Guardsmen are now on auto replenish, so they will go to full numbers soon. We have a Dark Reaper squad coming out for the Eldar player. Guardsman squad just chilling out near the critical location. Eldar will soon see that there's a heavy bottle to up here preventing them from chasing down the remaining guardsmen. These rangers are doing a decent job at preventing things... Be well, I mean, that plasma generator was still built, but they did do a fair bit to kill whatever was coming out. Rangers are now going to be pushed back as they were caught in between one, two, three listening posts that are upgraded, as well as a tech priest chilling in the bunker. Rangers are going to try and take some pot shots at these boys, but with a Psyker being in the team, they are able to be seen quite easily. Psychic boom and blast thingy-mabob going to come from the Psyker. And taking down one singular poor ranger. The Eldar player is now going to put a listening post on their relic. And what's going on in the base? Nothing much, nothing much. Good amount of... Whoa, well, there's a good amount of plasma generators going down here. Got to bear in mind, though, with that early harassment, the guardsmen were able to get a lot of listening posts down. So, I mean, let's actually... Let's check the numbers. Uh, so, plus 98, plus 20 against plus 110, plus 50. So, Imperial Guard play does have the benefit of... better... of a better economy, but there is a good amount of damage for the Eldar player. Moving in with their fleet of foot. Imperial Guard now in negative cover. So as they are running away, Mind War, I do believe, going... There we go. Mind War going down on the main commander dude. Going to be brought quite low in health. But the Guardsmen do run away, fleeing into their infantry command. We do have now a mechanized command, and we also have a tactical control along with Desperate Before Dishonor and Battle Armor. So the Guardsmen will become a lot more difficult to deal with as the game goes on. Their squishy nature will be less sir as the game progresses. Don't have much in the way of upgrades going for the Eldar player at the moment. Have dedicated a lot of their resources into their, their current army, which is quite sizable. Going to quickly take down this heavy bolter turret. The Guardsmen do now have access to their grenade launchers which are going to be lethal against these Guardians and anything else equally squishy. Big Zapper going down, taking down a lot of these Guardsmen. Farseer is going to run into close combat, taking down another model. Listing post with shooty bits, paying dividends against this Farseer. We've got the Dark Reapers quickly chunking away through a model down here. And we have got the other Reapers and Rangers taking down this listing post with shooty bits on it. Guardians only two models left, but they were able to zone out these boys for long enough so that this listing post could be taken care of. Farseer still got a fair chunk of health left. Not in the healthiest position, but healthy enough to push these boys a little bit back. Guardian squad now being completely deaded. Now got four burn singers going to build up a soul shrine. What's going on with these boys? He's got a Basilisk, there we go. A basilisk flag and a basilisk vehicle is going to come out soon, which is just amazing. I love basilisks. Stick them around the back, shoot all the boys. Brilliant stuff. We've got mines going down and some shooty bits for the listening shrine. That poor priest is standing on top of a shrine. He's going to be shot up and killed mid air. In fact, it's going to stay mid air just for propriety's sake. Although, with the help of the Psyker, they are going to destroy this minefield. And the Basilisk, along with a Chimera, has been planted on the field. So the Eldar player is going to need to plan some sort of anti-doofering going on. We've got Mysticism, the Warlocks to gain Conceal ability, and all the other abilities. And we also have a Plasma Grenade upgrade going down. So some Guardian player will be... A prime thing for this Eldar player by the looks of the upgrades. So the Chimera is going to be doing the fast attack 
of getting all the boys in, moving them out of harm's way, and then putting them back out. Remember that the Imperial Guard player can still fire, well, the Imperial Guard squads can still fire when they're inside the Chimera. And it's a bit of a precarious situation. Farseer going to be zapped by some... Oh, no, not Farseer, sorry. The Dark Reapers are going to be zapped by the Psycat. And a Dark Reaper squad only with one man left is probably going to be absolutely smashed into a thousand million squillion pieces. Will he survive? 36 health? Ah, and he gets one extra boy in, so he'll be able to escape. Dark Guardians are going to take over this critical location. And Reapers are going to move in. Heavy Weapons team going to be doing bits and bobs. Just playing the defensive game at the moment. Dark Reapers are going to be taking pot shots at this listening post. Lots of action, boys and girls. <coughs> More generators going down for the Guardian. Well, not Guardians, the, um, uh, the Eldar player. Just recovering their Dark Reapers. We've now got three Basilisks. So the, Gar so the Imperial Guard player is going to be... Well, should hopefully be very cautious of being flanked by the Eldar player. We have got a Webway Gate going down. No upgrades for it as of yet. Probably being put down for the increased population. Imperial Guard is going to move in towards this listing shrine. Even though it's got shooty bits, the shooty bits are focusing down on this Crimea. Crimea? Sorry. The, sorry, watching lots of uh, news on the uh, Ukrainian front. Bless, the, but bless those boys. Absolutely shocking situation. Um, but no, not a Crimea, a Chimera. Uh, we have got... Commander squad moving in, going to shoot down this listening post, along with the help of the Basilisks. Basilisks, when they fire on the location, they will also knock around their own infantry. Webway gate, not in the best situation at the moment. The listening shrine does go down, and the webway is soon to follow. We do have fire dragons being researched, which is probably the best thing for the Eldar player to go for at the moment. See if they can just move their fire drakes up here and shoot down all these basilisks before the Imperial Guard player has a chance to get their boys in the Crimea. Chimera, sorry. And moving them in. Let's have a swig of the old drink. It's whiskey tonight. It's a Sunday, school day, but... Just finished half term. And I've only got half a bottle left. And first day of school, does anything really happen? Okie dokie. Barely calm at the moment. Nothing intense going on. Got a bit of a turtling situation. Two heavy weapons teams. Got a big upgrade for the HQ. Guardsman moves forward. A poor burn singer instantly shocked and killed by the basilisks. Farsi is going to move up, see if she can do anything. Going to cast some magic. Some big explodey bits. And let's see how much damage that does. Quite lackluster, really, when you think about it. But it does look cool, and is that not the main? A fire drake almost halfway through to completion. We've got a support portal coming in. Eldar play a bit on the back foot with tech, but they are catching up fairly quickly. Eldar player has lost this strategic point after it being decapped by the priest and his... Guardsman compatriots. And as a accuracy increasing spell that the Farseer has, can't remember what it's called, the Guardsmen do run away, baiting out that all important ability. Listening post going down, although it's not being built up at the moment. Slow but surely, this Tech Priest engine see it is coming up. Biodrake squad down. Support portal is up. We shall see what they'll go for. Probably jet bikes, maybe. Counteract the tanks and whatnot. Got anything else being built up. We have got Uncommon Valor. Going to increase the squad size of the commander squad. Another heavy weapons team. With this, map, with this map being as small as it is, the Basilisks don't need to come out too far. So maybe they're just staying there just to perfect to protect... All the requisition and power that has gone into building these trio of basilisks. With two fire dra dragons there. I always call them fire drakes, fire dragons. Um, 
It'll, they'll make very quick work of those basilisks if they can get in close enough. Our minds work. Guardians moving up. Going to be looking at this critical location. They've still got this one, so if they capture another one, that will put the countdown on. Web whip all going down. We've got a viper. Out. Got less health than the chimera, but much more mobile, especially with the jumpy bits. So they will be able to get in and around. Uh, these heavy bolters, oh, so these heavy weapons team have been upgraded with an auto cannon. So that'll make them good against heavy infantry. That's probably what they're expecting. Got a big scanner coming down from the Imperial Guards HQ building, which will allow the um, Baskets to fire at long range. We have a good fighter squad of jet bikes coming in. That's exactly what they're probably going to do. Just going to go around the side, jump in, blow the shit out of all these boys, which is exactly what you want. Almost capturing this critical location. Going to start the countdown any moment now. Real guard player putting all his boys in a Crimea, Chimera. And we've got a Mars Pattern Command going down with a Bane Blade on the approach. I do believe this will be the first 1v1 game where Relic Units are being used. So that's quite exciting. Double Burn Singer is going to put down on this listing shrine. They're going to have a really bad day when they realise that the Ch Chimera is going to come down. And double Imperial Guards coming down, instantly wiping out these boys and taking out the listening shrine. And then they're also going to steal the relic as well, just for good measure. These boys are going to come round, fleet of footing in. Fire dragons in the midst. They are going to be mixed quite quickly. And then a whole squadron of... Oh, that was beautiful. Strolling in. Going to be absolutely wrecking everything. We've got an Eldritch Storm coming down. Knocking the Guardsmen away. Preventing them from getting back in the Chimera. Chimera does go down. Forcing the Guardsmen to commit to a fight that they don't want to be in. Lots of Guardsmen have gone down. All the dead bodies surrounding. Not a very pleasant sight. For a human. That was wonderful. That was brilliant. I very much enjoyed seeing that. Still, a, a good amount of Guardsmen have survived, and the Basilisks are throwing down a lot of damage. Guardians are now joining in. Countdown has begun. Vipers moving in. Kind of just splitting up all the uh, all the Guardsmen, causing them to lose their morale. Falling quite quickly, though. Two have gone down, only two left. Not really focusing down anything. And the Vipers are down to one singular jet bike left. Jet bike, sorry, left. Not really committing to the engagement. Have a Lehman Rose ready, although the population is full. They will be sorting that out quickly. A Bane Blade has just snuck right into the side. That's probably what stops the Guardsmen, from, well, the, the Eldar from moving in. They're now going to come back. This Falcon Grav Tank is being spanked from the behind. Although the Baneblade has not been supported very well, so will it be able to stand up against the pressure of two fire dragons and all that comes with it? Another Falcon Grav Tank is going to come down. A Lehman Rust Battle Tank is moving in, along with an impressive amount of Guardsmen. Falcon Tank nearly down. Bane Blade down to what, three quarters of its health by the looks of it. So Fire Dragons are doing a fair bit. Farsi are going to put some shiny bits on the Fire Dragons to help with their accuracy. They are, do they are chunking down through this Bane Blade fairly quickly. Valkyrie squad shooty bits are coming down. Fire Dragons are low on morale at the moment. Only one with one model left and one with two models left. They are being reinforced, although very slowly. Big push coming from the Imperial Guard player as well. Shooty bits from Listening Shrine doing their best. Bane Blade is down to half health. Dark Reapers quickly, quickly knocked down there. More Falcon Grav Tanks coming out. This is unfortunate for the Eldar player. Trying to f summon more Fire Dragons. But I do believe... This will be all she wrote for the Eldar player. 
Okie dokie, while I've still got your attention and while the battle is still commencing, I'm going to call it for the Guardsmen, but who knows, maybe the Eldar can pull something out. Sir, what I'm going to do is that, you know me, I'm an old man, I don't know how mods and stuff work, but I have managed to get Dawn of War Pro working. So what I'm going to do, as well as the Monday and Thursday uploads and the Saturday uh, Blood Bowl 2 uploads, on a Wednesday... I'm going to start uploading some Dawn of War Pro stuff. There's not many games available, but I have found a... Uh, what should we call them? A Discord where people upload their stuff. There's not many of them, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And maybe if I can make friends on there, learn how the game works, I can then upload some stuff for there. So, yeah, so Monday, Thursday, same upload schedule as usual. Wednesday, I'm going to try to do some Dawn of War Pro stuff. So check that out, because that'll be fairly decent, I reckon. And then Saturday, the usual Blood Bowl stuff. So let's just watch as the insults add to injury as a field command is being built in the middle of the river. Bane Blades being repaired to full health. And the Eldar player just hanging on the sweet dear life. I am going to fast forward some bits and bobs. Oh, although, mind you, the countdown is two minutes. So maybe the Imperial Guard player won't realise and then the Guardsmen will lose just on a technicality if the Eldar can just keep them busy just for long enough. That's exciting. I mean, they're not moving any dudes either left or right. Oh, man. Just imagine if they can. They've got the invisibility stuff from the Webway Gate. Falcon Grav Tank is... Taking pot shots as slowly as possible. Well, slowly chunking down these guardsman units. Ah, oh, no. Oh, that's sad. That would have been really. That would have been hilarious if um, guardsmen didn't realise. Okay, okay. We'll fast forward. Lots of blowy bits up, and look at that. The guardsman has absolutely annihilated the Eldar base. So anyway, uh, my name's been Mr. Ladshark. Pleasure as always. Never chore. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.